Hung in our training triceps with Linda Murray, three-time Miss Olympia. You ready to get into the tricep training? I am ready. ready. Okay. More than ready. Yes. Go. The first exercise we're doing in our tricep routine is tricep push down. You notice that Linda's using a straight bar. She's keeping her elbows in close to her side, which isolates the long head of the tricep, the meaty part of the tricep. Come on, give me Good. one more. One. Nice, Two. smooth motion. You don't want to ever jerk it down because this creates yeah. elbow problems if you do any kind of jerking motion. Good. Loose neck. Okay. 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 Come on. Come on, you. you mean you're not using more weight on you than Linda? <laughs> These two are having some sort of a competition Actually, here. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Great, okay. Now, yeah, Boyer, what's it make with her grip here? I notice sometimes you can use different grips, one in like this. Yeah, and this, this the grip that, that she's using right. works along the head of the tricep. Yeah. I'm going to use a the handle and do a little different variation. I'll show you uh, the difference between yeah. working the long head and the outer head of the okay. tricep. Okay, I'm going to change okay. panels here. Okay. Take the cable there. All right. So you really want to get sure this. Want I'll do it. Tension okay. going on. Right, I, I I'm like to support part. my back on this movement and grab the rope up high and then you lean forward, keep the elbows out. This uh -huh. works the outer head of the tricep. That's a good one. Yes. If you want a spot, you always grab it here. How you get some great tricep. Come on, foot. Great foot. No striations going on there. Oh, let's get it. Let's move on to the next yeah. exercise. Okay. Next Who's up next? Linda? Okay. Why our next exercise in our tricep routine is overhead tricep extension, one arm. Okay, this is a great movement to work the long head of the tricep. Best way to do that is isolate the long head by keeping the elbow above the head, which is exactly what Linda's doing. Notice how erect she's sitting. She's yes. not getting any body motion into Wonderful. the movement. She's keeping a great form. And notice before she had the hand on the, behind the back, which gave her even more stability. But you don't need it. I mean, great. she's whew, doing great. And that's why she's doing so, That's right. I'm learning here. <laughs> I'm learning. OK, okay. you're next. Can you show me? You just want to do the right arm? Well, we got to catch both sides, That's Linda. right. Only lopsided body, right? <laughs> I, I should not have mentioned it, but I like Is that the confusing nice. principle? No, that's really not. That's really not. We great. get along great, so great. we're having fun here in the workout. Good. Good. All the way up, all the way down. Good. Again, this works the long head of the tricep. The tricep is actually two-thirds of the arm size. People are always concerned in bodybuilding, I want big arms, and they think only biceps. Actually, the triceps is even more important for adding real arm size. You know what? I like to hold mine. Great. Yeah, yeah. Keeps it in place. Yeah, yeah. keeps the elbow straight up. And That's I feel great. it when I'm training. Linda, how much time do you devote to arm training? Do you devote more time to arm training or less than some body parts? I know, like for myself, I do less arm work because my arms just naturally tend to grow easier. Right. Well, um, mine don't grow as, as, as quickly. As other body, <laughs> say as your exactly delta. Exactly, my yeah. delta, my back. But um, I do take on, I special guess. attention when I do my uh, arm training. Great. Drive it up. Come on. Let's push. Go. All the way. Set. Great. Stretch. See, by holding on, sometimes you don't have the mirror when you work out, so you can really see what's going on in your muscles, but now you feel it. That's why I'm holding on. Tell me something. I mean, the women bodybuilders spend as much time looking at themselves in the mirror as men bodybuilders. Oh, yeah. You want to see the progression. <laughs> right? Okay. okay. Yeah. Progress. All right. All right. Oh, I want to see if all this work pays off. Notice how you get a good stretch. Let the weight go down. Yeah. Good stretch. Up and squeeze. Tracks the weight. And I mean, in this exercise, you don't want to spot somebody. I mean, if you need to spot, you do it yourself. You raise your hand and help yourself. Help yourself up. Weight. That's right. Come on. Good set. Excellent set. I like this okay. excellent form. Yes. One more time. Push. Come on. Yes. 
Good. Yes. Yeah. I see a lot of movement going yes. on there. Nice. Lot of control. Yes. Excellent control. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, for a professional bodybuilding competition, first of all, you need several years of serious weight training behind you. Um, you need mature muscle. If you're a professional bodybuilder, you should have uh, very mature muscle. Um, the um, diet, of course, again, is very important the three months prior to it. But actually, before the diet, uh, all the work has been done over, like, for example, for me, eight years of hard work. Without that, I, you know, would not be able to go on the stage and, and, and uh, have a Miss Olympia physique. This particular exercise works the long head of the tricep, which is actually two-thirds of the arm size. If anybody wants big arms, this is a must exercise. You want motivation? Just look at Vince's arms. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Now, Vince, do you have this machine where you train? You, have you done this before? No, this is the first time use is on this one. I'm kind of like a free weight guy more so, but I adventure all the time, so this is a pretty smooth movement also. Okay, boy, pump them up. Let's go. Give me four more. This is similar to the lying tricep extension to the forehead with the straight ball, right? I like it because of the balance. You don't have to worry about lying down okay. and yes. not seeing right. what's going on. Okay. I don't use machines too often either, but when it comes down to contest preparation, I'm one for variety. Right. Yeah, variety is essential in your exercise program, especially when you're, you're doing a body part over and over again. So you have to have a wide variety of exercises. Not only hit the muscle from different angles, but to maintain that enthusiasm, that's real important. Come on, Sean. Three more. That's it. Come on. Good. Two. You notice the full range of motion that Sean is getting on this exercise. Okay. I train smart, basically trying to utilize heavy weight, short repetitions, um, energy conservative. You know, you got to use a heavy movement with a power movement workout, basically using two hands and two feet together. Not try to max all out on smaller muscle groups making sure big muscles are trained heavier, smaller muscles are trained more steady, but not so bombarded with heavy muscles, with heavy workout weights. What we're doing here is another variation of the kickback. You can also do this with the dumbbell. Oh, yeah. Okay. Again, this is going to etch in the striations in the tricep, which is what we're after, as well as the horseshoe effect. The most important thing is to keep the elbow stationary and just use it as a pivot point. Kind of doing a superset here. That's right. Okay, kick it out. Those who have a problem trying to understand, this is the tricep and that's his leg, although they're about the same size. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're only going to get him bigger by training, right? Absolutely. He's leaning into the apparatus and holding on to the machine for balance. Uh, I'll show you another variation of that. Okay. I like to do it off my knee. I'm going to go All just right. the opposite, okay? Okay, go ahead. I'm going to start from the bottom. I like okay. to do it off my knee. Leaning down here, get my elbow in the stationary point and just kick it back. Good. Yeah, either combination is fine. Just whatever works for you. We'll swap around here. The main thing is to keep the intensity and the enthusiasm high, getting a, a fantastic tricep pump here. Great. Doesn't okay, really Sean's gonna, order to use, it? No, Sean's going to grab it from the top now. Again, this works for full range, not only the back head of the tricep, but the outer head as well. Great. That's it, Sean. Good. One more. See, Sean just holds, supports his body on his leg where I was holding on to the frame. Good. Okay, Ben. Start up top. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay, now the arm development, a lot of it is just illusion. It doesn't matter how big the arm is, but more rather how complete it is. Well, what's impressive about Vince's arm too, and adds to the illusion, look how tiny his wrists are. Yeah, you know, which right is, is a very nice flow yeah. to the size of the arm. Makes his forearm look bigger. <laughs> That's, than right. Right. That's right. That's the power of illusion. Yeah, I know my dad's got very big wrists, you know, and so as a result, his arm just looks like it just goes straight up like this. But with Vince's, it's small. Boom. Right. That in the Very impressive. See, you notice, Sean, I lean into the machine myself also. Good. Just for a little Good. balance, like boy, you to a point. That's right. it. Good. Get it all the way back. Right. Okay, let's, let's hit other that other arm then. Okay, I'm going to grab it from the top again. You're right there. Okay. I got you back there. Okay? <sighs> Good. So, Vince, I noticed that when I do triceps, I get pretty sore. And then when I turn around, I do chest somewhere down the line. My chest exercises sometimes are affected by that right. triceps. Get so much soreness in it. What do you do for soreness? Basically, I try to make sure I got a high degree of protein in my diet. Just for that recuperation, rebuilding phase, and nutrition. Okay. Then a lot of rest in between. Yeah. Do you ever use straps? I always. 
Good. I use stuff too. I got a weak, very weak grip. And on anything like this, we're doing pulling exercises. Uh, I have to have that tight end so it takes the emphasis off my hand. Well, good boy. Perfect. His body is very stationary. All the action is taking place in the tricep. The elbow is just a pivot point. Good. Good job. This is an easy curl bar. We're moving right on into biceps now. We're just grabbing the wide grip on the bar. And what this is, this is a variation of the straight curl bar. I know you used both bars before, Vince. What this is is going to enable you to grab the bar and hit the bicep at a different angle Good job, based on each set. Come on, Bert. Sizes. If you grab the bar out wide, Vince, what uh, advantage is that? I like to use a variation grip, Sean. But when I go wide, I like to you know, concentrate on the outer head of the bicep. And I, I preferably for the inside grip because of my wrist. I like to grab it in a little bit closer. Right. OK, let's see that wide grip. All right. Watch this close now. It might be a little unorthodox. You know, I'm Something. watching. Look at those arms. <laughs> OK, here we go. Oh, he's grabbing a little bit wider than you were. Actually, I've never seen anybody grab it that wide. This is new to me. <laughs> well, that's good, because you learn something yeah. first when you bring in the show. Yeah. Florida style. Florida style. Well, it works. <laughs> Look at the size of those arms. All right, yeah, now, this is great. relatively light for Vince. I'm sure he probably goes heavier <sighs> workouts with the training for the Olympia. Do you? Well, sometimes yes and no, Sean. I had a bicep injury back in 86, and I kind of like restrict heavy movements to low weight. OK. I'm okay. grabbing it close. You notice that Sean is grabbing it in close. This works. They're in ahead of the bicep more. Grabbing it wide works the outer head. You also know the easy curl bar is bent. The advantage of that is, besides creating a different angle for the bicep, it also takes a lot of stress off the wrist. That's it, John. Good. Three more for Come on. Right. All the way. Good. Five to catch me, Sean. Good. Come on. Let's go. Let's get it up here. Cut the camera. I got it. OK. OK. All right. Let's go to the next exercise. OK. All right. And this is going to be called the curl machine, right. machine curls. Right. I don't have this apparatus in my gym. We've got variations of it. Okay, you'll notice that the pad here is a little short. An advantage of that is the elbow is actually off of the pad. It's right on the pivot point here. Yeah, because a lot of people make the mistake of putting their elbows up here and right. they the pivot. Right. Also, this will really isolate the lower part of the bicep. Okay. Vince, I know you've had a bicep problem in the past. What are you doing to work your way around that? circumference that thing. I kind of stay away from the machine training. I like to do a little free weight, a little bit more versatility, mobile. But uh, machines kind of like keep in if I keep the weight low, right. perfect execution, perfect movement. Good. Look at the split coming in on Boyer. Nice. And when Boyer's, when Boyer's already in great shape, but when he's extra lane and ultra lane, you can actually see the, the split on the bicep. You yeah, like you're always heads. talking about that split. But there it is. That's right in there. Do that again. Do that again. Look at that. OK, now, is that genetic, or can I train to get that? That's genetic. Oh. Like I said, my dad's 75, and he can do that. He doesn't work out at all. When you don't have it, blame it on genetics. OK. OK, Sean. Off That's the edge. It. Good. Let's see, Sean, again, grabs the bar wider, where I had it in a little bit closer this time. Either way works fine, but it allows you a full range of motion. No cheating on the movement. You can't swing the weight back. This totally isolates the bicep. Great. That's right. it, Sean. Good. Yeah, Let's go okay. I have to put this on the plane and take it back. <laughs> Boy, okay. I understand you specialize in this equipment. Well, we had to bring you in for the show, Vince. I got to find yeah. out what's making you tick. You know what I mean? Well, before the show's over with today, we're going to have all the secrets. And we're going to pull out of them. Let me ask you, Boyer. Yeah. I know that Vince says he eats a lot of protein to recover from heavy workouts. What do you do? Yeah, I think it's important. And a good rule of thumb, I always try to practice this based on body weight. That's the watch only this Sean you Ray. Really you better watch this. better get one more, then. You better uh, watch this Sean uh, Ray. All right, baby. Yeah. Yeah, on the protein, I would say like one gram of protein per pound of body weight is probably about accurate. Okay, let's move on to the next one here. All right, what is the next one? Where okay, the all right. This is a little something different, a good finishing off bicep exercise we're going to do on a cable crossover machine. Again, this particular exercise isolates the lower head of the bicep. Doesn't require a whole lot of weight, but really isolates the bicep. Now, is this a power movement or shaping? I, uh, see, that's one. A lot of people have different opinions. I don't really think it matters. The muscle doesn't know if it's right. a shaping movement or a power point. movement. Main thing is to keep the intensity high. Then on something like that, you do what you want. Well, Vince, let me ask you a real quick question. How many exercises do you do in your bicep routine when you're training for competition? Uh, actually, only three, Sean. I use a lot of cables and some dumbbells, and leave it that. This exercise right here is just a, a segue into the front double bicep pose on stage, right? Basically, you're doing the same exact thing. Exactly. You just don't bring your elbows up as high. Is that right, Boyer? That's correct, yeah. 
Actually, this is a good movement to practice for going into a double bicep exercise. That's it. Now, is this better to do in front of a mirror? I think, well, you know, this is one thing about a gym. I think gyms would go out of business if they didn't have mirrors. That's true, Everybody sure. loves to see themselves in the mirror. That's great, Sean. Good. I'm too modest for a mirror. Come on, guys. <laughs> That's hard for us to believe. Right. That's hard for us to believe. Okay, Vince, you're set. Let me try some of this. You okay. know what's weird about Vince being here today? Is that you see him in the magazines, you know, and all of that is like when he's already peaked out, right. ultra ripped, and ultra shredded. It's not often we see another top notch bodybuilder slightly in the off season. We're feeling good though. Feeling yeah. good. You'll feel a lot better. I know that. Well, this, this is more of a real shape. People don't realize yeah. that, they, that when they see you in the contest in the magazine, you can really only hold that shape for a matter of hours or just a couple of days at most. Right. Do you want to try this with heavy weight or this should be a light movement? Well, I think whatever it causes uh, intensity, you know, we'll, we'll, if yeah, we do another set of that, we'll add a little more weight to it. What does it take to look like you, boy? I'll try that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you okay. this over here. When you tore your bicep, was it a low tear or a high tear? Oh, low tear, right, right here, absolutely. Straight up from the tendon. Is there a difference in your arm? Oh, uh, let's take a look. No. <laughs> look <at Simon. laughs> this definitely affects the lower part of the bicep. You can't get any momentum swing into the action at all. That's Strictly why have, bicep. That's why you have those straight benches, right? That you can stretch all the way down. Right. Yeah. You can do a, a variation of a curved bench, but actually a straight bench you know, isolates the bottom part of the bicep better. Yeah, on occasion, I'll turn the bench around. And that way I can uh, get a different kind of a feel. But this 90 degree angle really stretches on the, the lower part of the bicep. And I like to turn the up. But again, this is more of a concentration uh, exercise because your, your arm is stationary here. Your elbow, your elbow is basically the pivot point, not your shoulder. Yeah, you can't cheat at all. You notice that Anya is twisting the handle as it comes up, which gives more of a peak contraction at the top of the movement. But Radar. still, for guys or girls, this works the bicep, and we all have it. Oh, that's true. There's no difference words, in male and female. Not at all. This. Great. Great on you. Only Keep that intensity. really is the size, you know. We have the better, uh, greater propensity to build size because we have testosterone in this, which is going to give us that strength that we need to get bigger. I like the way you caught yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you started to say better, and that's not true. <laughs> not better, but we just have a little bit more so we get great. bigger. That's if all. you want to help yourself, right there. Great. Great. Okay, I'm going to do the same exercise as Preacher Curl, but I'm going to use a different variation using the barbell. All right, bring the bar. Oh. You're going to, Corey is using the big weight bar. On occasion, you'll find guys will use also the easy curl bar or the straight 45 Olympic bar that uh, they add weights on as they go. I like to use the easy bar because it's, it's better on your ankle. Right, and what you're doing here is you've got focus on both biceps because they're both being worked at the same time. Yes. He's got a, a little bit wider grip, which is going to definitely give him a better peek at the top. Good for you. Which boy normally doesn't, doesn't need oh, it. Oh, he doesn't need it. He just have a great peak. I always, when a guy's got a great developed arm like Boyer, I always say it's just too much. He didn't work hard. He was born with arms like this. He didn't have to train to get that. Like, why did you that? Yeah, oh, you have to. I mean, everybody's born with a certain amount of genetics. Those that maximize and realize those genetic potentials that are going to go on. Well, that, that's the secret, Sean. If there's one secret to all this bodybuilding thing, it's the effort that you put into it. Let's go to the next bicep exercise. I have exercise. seen you doing this exercise before, and okay. I guess this is really a peak exercise of yours, right? Correct. Take us into this one, Boyer. Okay. It's a special handle. This is a, a slight variation of just a standing curl, but we're using a cable this time. You notice how Anya's catching the handles in close. This is great because it works the inner head of her bicep. Right. As she comes up, it contracts the muscle on the inside. Right. What's, what's the reason we're using the cable instead of just a tube bar? Well, the advantages of a cable is that it keeps tension on the bicep, on the, the muscle throughout the entire movement. Right. Okay, I'll go next year. How was that, Anya? It was good. I never did this exercise with this kind of angle. Um, Handle, oh, you yeah. call it, right? Well, you know what I find about bodybuilders in general? A lot of people think, gosh, you must spend all day in the gym. How many hours do you oh, train? No. It only takes a few number of reps and uh, a few number yes. of sets. But the main thing is to get the rest and recuperation. That's yes. what you're going to grow. I'm normally in the gym for one hour per day. Good for you. Concentration, slow and deliberate. Okay. Elbows tight to the side. You said you're in the gym one hour a day. You train yeah. twice a day or just once a day? Um, in off season, I train once a day, one hour per day. and. Twice a week, I throw in an hour of aerobics. Great, Sean. I curl feel it. a little bit in my forearm, too. It's kind of like a hammer curl. Exactly, yeah. In other words, you'll get some forearm movement in the very top part of the motion there. But it's more of a, a concentrated peaking exercise because you keep tension on the movement. All right, let's go to a more concentrated okay. exercise. Yeah. Concentration curls. That's right. What better name than that? We've got concentration curls coming up here. 
Han is doing another variation of the concentration curl by hanging off the bench. But the main thing is to keep the elbow at the pivot point and not swing it with the shoulder. Exactly. She's using no momentum at all, just pure muscle and getting the, the dumbbell up. Again, you notice how she rotates her hand to keep the muscle at the top. That's right. And, and it, when you train biceps, it's not a race. You're not going to get exhausted like you would on the leg. Right. So you really got to concentrate on it and keep the concentration and tension on the muscle. But you, the muscle will fatigue quicker sure. as compared to, say, a larger muscle group because it's so much smaller. smaller the fiber is smaller, yeah. more condensed. For in the back, when you train back, you got so many more muscles you know, involved. Right. Bicep is just basically bicep. And let me ask you, what's the re relation between the poundage and the size of the actual arm? Well, I definitely yeah. think there's a correlation between size and strength. And naturally, the more resistance that you handle in a movement, and right. in particular doing it correctly, you're going to stress the muscle that, mo that much more, right. you know, causing it to grow. Doing a little different. Why don't you tell them what the difference is here? Okay, here Sean is doing it seated, which I will do also. He's got his back of his arm, his tricep, braced up against his leg, eliminating any swing. You can see he's got a hell of a bicep there, too. Great, Sean. Now, if I wanted to cheat, though, for you with a heavier weight, it's okay to swing it back just a little bit. That's right, but as you do swing back, concentrate on lowering the weight uh, you know, Lord. slower. The eccentric part of the movement, the down part, is very, very important. Or you want to hold it on the top for a while and keep this peak. Correct. That's it. Good. Great. You can also do negatives, right? That's correct. Sure. Yeah. Let him down very slowly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My set. Yeah, I can feel it fatiguing. Yeah. If I'm going to do negatives, I definitely need to have some wrist straps. Good boy. Look at this peak. Yeah. Come on, you know, boy. There's Show only, it to us. There's the only rain. a few bodybuilders in bodybuilding that have that split yeah. and that extra peak. Robbie Robinson, Samir Bernou's got an excellent bicep uh, split. And all the pictures I've seen of Boyer in all the magazines, the thing that glares at the most is that split down yes. the bicep. You can't really train to get that split. No, you're born with it. But I mean, I have mine when I'm in on Yeah, too. when you're in shape. Well, actually, the split is more, you know, more muscle control. control. You know, the, Look at the, that. The, the, I got to figure this one out. I'm going to pick your brain later on. <laughs> you just got to stand in front of a mirror and do it for like a long time. OK. We got a couple of more minutes left. About two or three more minutes, and our 30 minutes are up. I'm gonna do a couple more reps. To take us okay. out of here. Okay, you're on. Okay, come on. Bring it home. One, two, three. <sighs>